Hi and welcome to Blanks and Stories. My name's Jessica and I'd like to share a story with you relating to my necklace. You got this. So this story wasn't something that I was typically going to share with a wider audience. However, I thought it was really, really important to um, spread a message um, and sort of share this story with you because it's something really personal to me, but something that I believe can really help other females by me simply just sharing the story to like a wider audience. So when I was 25, actually I think it was slightly before the age of 25, I received a letter in the post as I'm sure many of your, you females have and I believe it's slightly different in different countries but this letter was for a smear test. Um, so it was like a few months before as I mentioned um, of the age of 25, I'm now 29. Um, and my mum was straight away like, right, we have to take you to the doctors to get the smear test, like, don't worry about it. Um, as my mum said it done before, she was like, it's not bad at all. It's not a bad experience. You'll be absolutely fine. So I went down there um, to the doctors, had my smear test and was like, you know, everything's going to be absolutely fine. Um, and I waited like a few weeks for my results and... The dreaded results came through that I had um, cervical cancerous cells. Now, it's something that I was like really sort of worried about and I was just like, this is not the news that I wanted and I've, I've heard like stories around it before um, and you know, my heart sunk and I was like, you know, does this mean I've got cancer? Because as soon as you hear like cancerous cells, it just puts that kind of fear into you. So luckily, um, my mum was such a like huge support when it came to um, sort of going for my smear test and like supporting me through the letter that I had received. Um, she also had um, a scare around cancerous cells. So she also had to have an operation, which they call a cone biopsy um, before I did. Um, so, like she was a great support and like she just really, really pushed it into me and said, look, like you need to have this operation as scary as it sounds, as scary as it seems, like it is really important because um, I don't know how long they say it takes for the cells to turn into cancer, but it is literally like a matter of life and death. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard the story around Jade Goody, um, who actually was very fearful about taking action and going to um, have the cone biopsy done and you know unfortunately it led and sadly it led to her death so I just thought you know what this is a story that I just really really need to share um, to a wide audience and like not keep it to myself I mean fortunately I've shared this story with like close female friends um, and they were like at the age of 28 without having a smear test and I really drummed it into them and said, this is my story and I really need you to go and get your smear test done um, because it isn't scary and it's something that like you definitely need to do because, you know, it, like I said, it is like a matter of life and death. So going back to what I previously mentioned about getting the second letter that said that I would need to go in for my cone biopsy. Um, so I went in for my cone biopsy, um, to be honest it isn't a nice experience, like they basically um, inject you um, because it is, you're basically awake when you have the operation done, um, so they inject you, you with a local anaesthetic um, to numb that area um, and they actually um, perform like an operation, like a laser operation, but it was just so so quick um and it was just over so it was just over so quick so it, it's not something that you're going to be in for hours for um i did feel quite emotional after it because i guess with females like anything to do with like you know your private areas in general like i think that's why a lot of women panic because they're like you know i don't want people to see private parts and like it is that's your identity as a woman so like even for me i was just like oh like it's, it just feels really unnatural but you know at the same time I could be in a situation now where I could have severe cancer and just because I was just too terrified to just like take action and 
you know, just say to myself, like, you got this, like, just do it, just take action and, and have it done. Um, and yeah, so because I, after the operation, I was then told that I would need to be monitored more closely. Um, so I actually went back in again um, for another check. Um, and luckily, after I'd had the comb biopsy, I think it was like, I want to say like six months to a year after, they then said to me that, you know, you've got, you've got the all clear, like you haven't got any um, further issues. So they said, I've got the all clear. Um, I didn't have any further issues, um, and, but they would still need to regularly monitor, you know, my cervix. Um, and then I believe it was like a year after, um, I was then experiencing like a lot of like pains and like, yeah, I was experiencing a lot of pains um, in my cerv cervical area. Um, and then I went in for further checks and they said that after the operation, my cervix hadn't healed properly. Um, so yeah, they had to basically um, apply like a silver nirate, which helps heal the cervix. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, it, you know, it's, it's not very, it's not a nice experience, but these are all little things that I feel, you know, as women, we need to be aware of and just really, um, you know, monitor how you're feeling and just sort of go and, and follow the procedures that they're telling you to do, particularly when it comes to health. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit about, you know, my experience with having my smear and the journey that I've gone through. And I just wanted to kind of share that story and just really encourage people to um, make sure that they have their smear. Like, it's never too late. I know they obviously give you the letter at 25, but it's important that, like, you go and have that smear test because you just don't know. You, you may feel all right. I, I, I felt absolutely fine. Um, it wasn't until I had the test that obviously they discovered cells, um, which are now clear. Um, so yeah, please, please, please do it. Um, and obviously study, um, you know, do a bit more research around it. And like, you can, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of other information, bits of information out there, which you can kind of look into a bit more and, um, and just really research into smear tests. So thank you very much for listening to my story. Um, I hope it was of interest and I really hope that it will encourage you to take action. Just remember you've got this. Um, you don't need to be worried or scared about anything. I just really entice you to, you know, take action um, and go and get your smear test done.